Interval Arithmetic. If I have two intervals, x and y, and an operator, uh, which can be plus, minus, and so on, a binary operator, and I will define the operation with respect to this operator as follows. So first, I take all possibility for x operator y, such that x and y belongs to their domains, and because this set may not be an interval, I will take the smallest box, which enclose this set, so the smallest intervals in this case. That's why I define this operator, which denotes the smallest interval, which contains a set, a subset of R. Uh, in this first question, I will assume that the interval x and y are given by minus 3 and 2, 5. And I have to compute uh, for different operator uh, the result of this operation. Uh, so here I have x which is equal to minus 1, 3 and y the interval y which is given by 2, 5 so let me start by the addition x plus y I will take uh, for all x inside this interval and all y which belongs to this interval all the possibilities for this will be uh, so the lower uh, value uh, I can reach is uh, minus 1 plus 2 which corresponds to 1 and the largest value I can reach is 5 plus 3 which corresponds to 8 ok so it corresponds to the first operation then about uh, x minus y it will be equal to uh, x is minus 1, 3 uh, minus y is plus and here I will have minus 5, minus 2 so this corresponds to minus y Uh, and I will obtain minus 6 because minus 1 plus minus 5 is minus 6 and here 3 minus 2 which corresponds to 1 uh, now about the multiplication uh, minus 1 3 multiply by 2, 5. So I take all the possibilities for all extreme values. So minus 1 times 2 is minus 2, minus 1 times 5 is minus 5, uh, thr 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 5 is 15, and I obtain four numbers and I will get take the smallest interval which contain all these values and I will obtain minus 5 15 uh, now about the division uh, minus 1 3 divided by uh, 2, 5 so because uh, 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 the operation is decreasing with respect uh, uh, to the denominator I will transform like this minus 1, 3 multiplied by 
1 divided by 5, 1 divided by 2. And I will do the same. I will take minus 1 divided by 5, minus 1 divided by 2, 3 on 5, and 3 on 2. I take the smallest interval which enclose these four numbers and I will obtain uh, minus 1 over 2 and 3 divided by 2. Okay, it was about the division. Uh, now, uh, the other operator I have to uh, to compute is the maximum and the minimum. Both of them are binary operator. Uh, so the maximum of minus one three. and 2, 5 um, it will be so uh, let me recall if x belongs to this interval and y belongs to this interval uh, what about the maximum of x and y so it is clear that the maximum should be equal to the maximum of minus 1 2 so the maximum of the lower bound and the maximum of the upper bound and this corresponds to 2 5 about the minimum the reasoning is the same uh, so here it's still x and y I will take the minimum of uh, the lower bounds so I will obtain minus 1 the minimum of the upper bound so 3 and 5 and I will obtain 3. Question number 2. I have to perform uh, several interval operations. I consider the first one. This one. It is a multiplication. So I will perform 4 multiplication and take the extreme values. So in this case, it is clear that the result is minus 6, which corresponds to 3 times minus 2. And the maximum value I can reach is 12, which corresponds to 4 times 3. So if here I take the smallest box, smallest box like this, which enclose the union. So the union is uh, corresponds to uh, minus two four union six and seven. These two intervals are disjoint. So I will obtain the interval minus 2, 7. The maximum, as previously said, I will take the maximum of the lower bounds and the maximum of the upper bound. So the maximum of the lower bounds is 2 and of the upper bound is 9. Here, uh, 
uh, I will take uh, all possible value of x inside the empty set and y uh, inside this interval 1, 2. And the maximum of them uh, will correspond to the empty set. So this maximum corresponds to the interval empty. So empty, the empty interval is absorbing. I mean, if I make an addition, a multiplication, or, or so on, by another interval, I will obta always obtain the empty set. Here, about this multiplication, uh, this division, I will take, uh, uh, I can reach uh, any value up to plus infinity, uh, for instance, 3 divided by 0 plus is plus infinity, and I can also reach uh, converge to minus infinity, because minus 1 divided by 0 plus is also minus infinity. So in this case, uh, I will, uh, the corresponding interval which corresponds to R. Or if you prefer, will denote it also minus infinity plus infinity. About the last one. So the last one we have first this multiplication and uh, this multiplication uh, will uh, I will uh, have uh, so minimum value is minus 2 and 6. Uh, this one corresponds to infinity. The maximum of this is also, uh, excuse me, empty set. This one is also empty set. And empty set plus an interval corresponds to the empty set. Question number three. Recall that uh, if uh, f is a function from r to r, such as the uh, square root or the square, the log and so on, the sign also, I can define, extend it to intervals, and I take all possible values for f of x. And because f may not be continuous, uh, to have a closed operation, I will have to take the smallest interval which enclose this set. For now, I will consider uh, these uh, uh, three examples and I will try to, uh, to compute each of them. So, the first one, So it was the question number three. The first one is the square of minus one, three. Or we can write it like this. Minus one, three, square. So the minimum value is zero because it cannot be negative. And the maximum value is three times three, which corresponds to nine. As we cannot hear, uh, the square of x, of an interval x, is not equal to the multiplication of the same two intervals. Because in this case, it is I have only the inclusion. Because if here I perform minus 1, 3, multiply by minus 1, 3, I would have obtained minus 3, 9. So this problem is known as the dependency problem. Uh, and this property is, is known as the subdistributi subdistributivity property. Uh, now, the second example for the square root of the interval minus 10, 8, 4. So first I can remove all values that do not correspond to the definition domain of the square root. 
Fatigue News, Fatigue is equal to 0, 4. So I have removed all, all points that have no image by the square root. And I will obtain 0, 2. The last uh, interval operation is the logarithm uh, of minus 2 minus 1 and because this interval is not has no intersection with the domain of the log then of course I can have no image and I will have the empty interval question number 4 I have to perform these two operations So the first operation was 1, 2 plus minus 3, 4 multiply by minus 1, 5. So it is a sum, so it corresponds to minus 2. 6 and to have the multiplication now this multiplication uh, the lowest value I can reach is 5, five times minus 2 so minus 10 the largest value is 6 times 5 which is 30 now my second operation is the exponential of 1, 2 divided by 0, infinity. So this corresponds uh, to, uh, so all of them are positive, uh, but I can reach all positive values. So it corresponds to 0, infinity. And if I take the exponential of this interval, I will obtain exponential of 0 because exponential is increasing function, 1, infinity. 